How does youth work affect young people to learn about participation and how to participate? Youth work is the best way to introduce as many young people as possible to the opportunities and ways in which they could develop their interests and talents. Also, the best way to uh, motivate young people is by positive examples of others who, through this kind of work, came out of their comfort zone. Can you describe for us how you see the connection between non-formal learning in youth work and participation? Youth work in Montenegro has developed dynamically in the last 10 years. Young people want to engage with young people and work together to improve the quality of the life in their community. Youth work and activism provide opportunities for personal and professional development of young people through non-formal education. The skills and competencies that are required in our labor market by employers can be acquired through work and volunteering in youth organization. However, opportunities and the national mechanism for recognizing acquired competencies is not on a good level. Institutions, youth organizations and all of us who work with and for young people need to create a mechanism that provides them with a sufficiently attractive motivation for a greater degree of their inclusion in society. We have to have young people and competent people who simultaneously strengthen their personality and their qualities for a better Montenegro. Do young people really want to speak up and make a change? Young people, in essence, truly want to contribute to their societies and their communities. However, if we don't provide them the support, information they need, they will not be able uh, to participate. When we give young people a chance, when we support them throughout their development, they will contribute to their societies, to their communities on a local and a more broad level. Um, the work of our local NGOs in Montenegro has shown that when an inclusive approach is taken, young people do participate in significant numbers and uh, contribute to real change in their societies that affect real people that they are surrounded by. Leaders are not born, leaders are shaped and developed, so when we as young people are given a chance, we will show everyone what we can do uh, with enough support. How is youth participation manifested in your organization? When it comes to youth participation, we at Forum m &E are now testing co-management model. That is the first time uh, that we are trying it and that is the first thing that I would like to point out. Secondly, what we are doing when it comes to the youth participation is that we are very proud to say that uh, representatives of the youth group that we are working uh, with are making 70% of the organizational assembly. And thirdly, I would like to point out also that uh, our strategic planning is based on consultation with uh, young people, so their needs and wishes for the period ahead. What do you and your organization do about encouraging young people to participate in society? As soon as I got introduced to the non-formal education, thanks to Forum m and &E, I started motivating other young people to take part in projects and activities that I was taking part to. Uh, I wanted to assure them that there really was a place where they could learn how to address problems that youth was facing and how to reach those ones who are making decisions about youth. Uh, today, I have uh, the power to say to influence other young people through the Regional Youth Cooperation Office, RAICO. RAICO is an intergovernmental organization that aims to promote spirit of reconciliation and cooperation between the youth in the Western Balkans. Uh, moreover, uh, our governing board consists of governmental and youth representatives uh, who are equals and who are making all decisions by consensus. As we like to say, better region starts with youth and we are very proud that we can help them in achieving that goal. What does participation mean to the young people you work with? To the young people I work with, participation means to have a chance to speak, to have a chance to be heard and to be able to participate in bringing decisions that are important to them. Generally, young people in Montenegro are used to that uh, fact that nobody listens to them. Uh, their parents, uh, their teachers, decision makers. And the most important thing they found through non-formal education in civil society organization is actually the fact that somebody really listens to them. Me, as a as young person myself, I believe that young people are capable of doing anything. They only need a little bit of support and uh, empowerment and really the world is theirs. How does participating in youth work support young people in participating in society? 
By participating in youth work, young people are recognizing their society and by recognizing, I mean they understand better the society and the society understand better young people. Um, if young people are uh, more involved in different activities, uh, then this connection uh, is better and the understanding of the society is better. Uh, what is the important thing that uh, young people are more involved uh, for the society and uh, that they do good for our society. What are the skills, knowledges, attitude or behaviors the young people de develop as a result of them participating in non-formal activities? They develop a compassion, awareness, not only for themselves, but for the other in their presence. Tolerance, empathy and uh, human rights are also the main things that increase their better personality. We have seen that they are also often active citizens in the community and leaders long after the volunteer experience. Also, intercultural uh, uh, diversity can also help them grow. And also, I'm pretty sure that they can be mentor for non-formal uh, educations in the near future. In more practical terms, what do young people gain out of non-formal activities? Non-formal education gives variety of opportunities. We gain knowledge that is actually applicable into the daily life and we get to learn from practical examples, which formal education can provide for us. As we get to choose what we learn about, we meet people who have the same interests as we do. We also gain contacts that are strictly connected to the field that we are interested in. Further down the road, we can use those contacts when we want to achieve something in that specific field. We get to experience things that interest us outside of school and pressure it puts on us. It's fun, it's unpredictable, it's constantly growing its field, so it's rather useful. Non-formal education, uh, I would say, helps you grow both professionally and personally because through non-formal education activities uh, you get to gain uh, various and really valuable um, soft skills which are very much appreciated at the job market. Um, in my case, for example, the most important soft skills I have gained through non-formal education activities are uh, teamwork skills, uh, our communication skills, and also I got the opportunity to improve my uh, critical thinking. Um, other than that, I got connected with uh, other people with whom I share um, the same interests and with whom I could exchange um, experiences and also start maybe um, some initiatives uh, important for the community. So all in all, I would say that non-formal education is important because it makes you a more uh, open-minded and also self-confident individual.